Hey, it's Melora. So I know last weekend I told you I was going to have up my three scariest things that happened to me video. But last week I ran out of time on the weekend and I can't really film during the week because, you know. So this weekend I have my lovely friend Natalie. She's here to help me film the video. Hello. She's my camera lady. So if the video sucks, you know why. Okay, so let's get started with our three scariest things that have happened to me video. Let's go. Okay, so the first scariest thing that's ever happened to me, it's not scary as in paranormal, but me and my friend Gabby were at the mall one day, right? We were ready to leave, so we went outside and sat on the curb. That was our fault, but we were like, hey, like, what's going to happen outside the food court, right? So we sit outside, and we're waiting for my dad to come get us. And all of a sudden, this really old guy comes up to us, and he goes, excuse me, ma'am. One of you, come help me get my credit card. I dropped it in between the seats of my car. Can one of you please reach your hand in there and get it out of my car? And I kind of looked at Gabby and I was like, um... Uh, so then, um, Gabby was like shaking and then I just looked at her and I was kind of like... So, I turned back to the dude who was like standing in front of us. He must have been 80 or 90. He was super old and his hands were like all shaky. But, um, I just turned to him and I was like, I'm sorry, like, my dad's about to be here. I really don't have time. I have to go. And then he's like, it's only going to take a minute. Like, I just need one of you to come to my car and get it out. And I was like, I really can't. Like, I'm really sorry. And then he kept trying to make excuses on why, like, we could still go. And then I saw my dad pull up. And I was like, I'm really sorry. I have to go. We just got up and kind of, like, ran to the car. But, like, that was, like, really scary because if one of us could have gone, it could have been something, like, totally normal. Like, hey, you know, let's just get the credit card out of the seat. But you never know anymore. And you just don't want to take the risk because so many bad things have happened with those scenarios. Like, there, even if the 90-year-old guy didn't do anything, there could have been someone waiting in the car. Just, if you're ever in that situation, don't do anything. And if there's, like, someone else near you, like, an adult or something, try to talk to them about it if you are really creeped out. Okay, so the second thing that happened to me was, okay, you guys are going to think I'm insane, but I was, like, five, I think it was five, but, like, I swear to God, I remember it, like, because it was so creepy, like... I don't care, don't comment stuff saying that like I'm not gonna remember it because I swear to god I didn't make any of this up. So there's this thing called the Queen Mary in LA. I'm not sure if it's in LA, I'm pretty sure it's in LA, but I used to live in Nevada so I was like a minute from LA, more like an hour but still. Went to the Queen Mary, we got our tickets, everything. We went on the elevator and we clicked to go to the top floor, right? We, had, we were starting a tour or something, I don't know if we did a self tour or just like a tour with a guide but we went to the top floor. So we click the button to go to the top and then we go all the way down to the engine room. And you're not even supposed to be in the engine room, but we didn't know that at the time. So once we got down to the engine room, we were kind of like, weren't we supposed to go to the top floor? We are like, you know what, whatever, it's like cool, like let's just go here first and then we'll go up. Because the tour didn't start for like another hour, so we just kind of had free time to walk around. So we walked out of the elevator and then immediately as soon as we got out, the elevator went back up to the top for whatever reason. And we started walking. Now the engine room is known to be where a lot of the passengers died on the ship. So we were, I don't know, we were already kind of freaked out, but we were freaked out. Like, we started walking and we had to go to this gate. Okay. You know those gates after you get out of rides at theme parks, we like open them and then they shut automatically behind you? It was the opposite of that. It was the ones where you open them and then they like literally do not shut unless you pull them tight. So we start walking through and we open the gate, we walk through, we don't, we don't pull it back. We just left it open and like after like we keep walking, it slams shut. So we're kind of like, wait, what? Like, who's behind us? Like, did someone else come? And we're just looking around, reading like, I don't even think there were any signs in there. Like, I don't think you're supposed to be down there. So we're just kind of walking through there, and all of a sudden we hear these like voices and like banging, and we're like, um, let's like get out of here. So we just walk out, we get to the other side of the elevator, like the other elevator on the other side, and my mom gets pushed. Like, she just gets pushed. Something pushes her and she trips, but she didn't fall, and it's not like she was wearing heels. Like, she wasn't going to just randomly, like, you know, stumble, like, fall. She literally got pushed out of nowhere. So, right after that, we kind of, like, ran out of there and got back on the elevator and went back up to the top. And then we started our tour. Whatever, that was my second story. And, yeah, here's my third. So, for my third story, it's not something that I would really consider creepy. More kind of, like, sweet, but it is sort of paranormal. So, one time, I think it was in, like, third grade? I don't know. It was the night that my grandmother died. I had a birthday party that morning. I got to see her before she passed anyways. It was like early in the morning. So I had my bathing suit and stuff. It was like a pool party, but all that was in the car since we went straight to the emergency room after she was like, you know, dying. Um, yeah, so that was a really sad night for me and like my whole family. We came home and it was pitch black outside. It was summer, I'm pretty sure. And I was like, oh yeah, mom, like let's get my bathing suit out of the car before it's 
gets all moldy and gross and the car smells bad. So I walk outside and I'm still kind of upset because you know my grandmother just died. So I look up at the sky and I'm like, this is gonna sound so cliche guys, but like please bear with me on this one. But I look up at the sky and I go, Nana, if you're still like with me and like you're still here and you can see me right now, send a shooting star like across the sky. And so I look up and then a shooting star goes by and then I'm like, oh my god, wait, like really? Like you're there? Like do it again. And so like f about four more went by because I was like super excited. I was like, God yay! Like that whole thing. But like, um, yeah, so I saw that and then I went to show my mom and she did it for my mom. <laughs> like, yeah, we went back inside and stuff and then I went to do it to my dad. And so I was like, hey dad, like come look at this and it didn't work anymore. Now there could have been the coincidence that they were just shooting stars that day as soon as I asked and then they stopped when I tried to show my dad. But, you know, thank you. Okay guys, so that was my three creepy-ish weird things that have happened to me. I'm sure if I really thought about it, there could be like a thousand more. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, yeah, comment, like, and subscribe, and don't forget to thank my assistant, Natalie. By the way guys, I almost forgot to tell you, she is starting her YouTube account. Finally! Video. The video will be up like either today, like tomorrow-ish. I honestly have absolutely no idea. I'm making her edit it for me. Yeah, so make sure you subscribe to her. Click on her face if you want to subscribe to her. And yeah, so I love you guys and I will see you later. Goodbye. Mwah.